Mortal Flames here and welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're going to watch The Square Town Incident, a Minecraft film by Emerald Productions. And it just released uh, days ago and I'm going to watch it. So here we go. Plus I'm in this movie as the main character. Okay. Yep, the intro for Emerald Productions. Ooh, I'm so excited. That's a, a patient from the asylum, isn't it? Hmm. What? Uh, I think he's been covered with blood, officer. You should uh, put him down. No? Um, okay. Now, officer's really bad at his job. Yep. Okay. <laughs> There's the title. The Square Town Incident. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's see how this film goes. That's me. That's me. <laughs> That's me, folks. I'm the main character right here. Be leaving my post and take dinner if anything strange happens. I think that was from that other character, which I'm not going to spoil it because, like, I got I read parts of the script because I don't want right, to see Detective Peters. You got a murder at Square Town. Because no. I don't want to see the spo don't want to spoil because I don't want to see the get myself spoiled on the script. Go ahead, talk to me. <laughs> the captain needs you to go investigate and report if there is any evidence left. Got it. I might need backup as soon as I get there. Ooh. Copy. I'll send back up on the way. Man, it's picked the right time to do this. Man, my quality sounds bad. Like, I was using my phone to record it. I didn't know the quality was somehow sound bad all of a sudden. Like, wait, no, wait. It wasn't my phone. Sorry, it was my headset I had to use. Uh, maybe next time I will use my phone with better quality, I guess. <laughs> but here we are. Let's see what's going on. Man, I truly like the idea of this movie that you want to have it take place in. All right, I'm in the building. In those type of but dark times. The way how the police station or officers had to go like this, even detectives. Um, it just reminds me, it reminds me of those type of 50s or 60s or 40s type of detective or police stuff movies, you know? Like how my main character looks like that with the trench coat and some sort of top hat or something like that. It reminds me of those times. I think, I don't know. Oh my. That's a lot of blood. Uh oh. What was that? Oh, the music. Oh, I like the the fitting of the music and the scene together. It sounds perfect. A 
my note. Ooh. Let's see what it is. Man, even every time in movies, my the way I do it, I, like I always have my characters talk a lot throughout the whole entire movie. But this one, you decided to go for focusing on what's happening without having the characters talking a lot, which makes things a little bit annoying. So I like this type of idea you decided to go with. Plus, I'm not really good at explaining things, <laughs> but I try. <laughs> This guy must have had some serious issues. Hmm, exactly. There's nothing new to find in the area anymore, other than the note and some medication on the table. <sighs> Crap. All right. Whoever this guy is, he already thought this out, and it happened to my. Damn, life. the voice actor for this yeah. guy. Wait, sure you good? Do you live here? Yeah, I do. Oh man, I have to catch up with you guys. Now we have two problems to deal with. One. A guy who somehow escaped the asylum four years ago, but I still can't solve that case. And then I have another here. We're dealing with two psychopaths at the moment. Yeah. Can we just go into lockdown right away? Any of these people could be the suspect. Hell, he or she might be wearing a disguise. Alright, I'll tell everyone. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, the music. Set this place to lockdown, and I want all of these civilians to move to a safe place to hide. Well, see, I don't know what year this whole entire place is taking place. Like, like I know I saw a few scenes with the phone, I think. Because there would have been, like, security cameras around the area, you know? If the murderer were... Good, sir. Good. Now we just have to figure this out. Wait. Sir, I think I know. What? I think these might be connected. What do you mean? This could mean that the guy who's escaped the asylum could be the same guy who killed all these people. But how does that even make sense? A genius would know the way out of that place. So it doesn't also make sense why there is no other trace because this is just really thought out. Yeah, you're right. Alright then. Do you want to head to the asylum and ask some questions? Yeah, sure. I'll go tell Bronson to keep the civvies. <laughs> Very interesting. I truly like the set of this film. God, you really had to use those type of 3D models of the vehicles now. <laughs> but still, it's alright. Oh. Oh. You're mostly checking every single cell of every patient. Like, was there like a thing you had to ask the doctors if they have like a list of, of patients and their numbers, you know, or names, that sort of thing? Without just suddenly like, oh, I need to check this one. What the heck? Was that Jason? I don't know. He's wearing a mask. Out of all of our patients, he's like the most intelligent. 
Even if he had a condition that involved him hearing and hallucinating things beyond what we see and believe. What does that mean? He stopped taking his medications four years ago, and it was reported that he killed his family. He then was imprisoned, but due to his behavior, and that one time he killed one of the prisoners, he was moved to the asylum. And then what happened next? It was like a week after he was put in this asylum, when we checked in his room only to find out that he was missing. I don't know how he got out, but one rumor states that he picked the lock from the outside and got out. And somehow security didn't even see him? No security cameras? This is embarrassing. I'm even ashamed to step in this place. Captain Murray, wait. Next time, add security wait. cameras. Yeah. Your captain looks familiar. I just can't recall. Probably just a guy who I met before with similar structures. Alright. But can you provide any information on what triggered Ms. Murphy's hallucination? We might be able to interrogate every single hostage and find the suspect. We tried bringing up his family once, and we already wanted to leave the room. Okay, can you give me the names of his family members, so that we might be able to break one of them? Alright then. I don't know what to say, it's this, all these Before things. Before you go, oh. just make sure to remember, this guy can manipulate you, in case you're in with him. His self-confidence is so believable that you can't even tell it. Plus, I truly like the feel of this movie. The music, okay. the characters, have some things to try to everything in it. Alright then, let's continue. Yep. Also, why do you get out? Just took a breather. I was just stressed and all. Come on, let's go back. Hmm. Yeah, like me and my character, we both have the same feeling that something's off. The same room where those bloods are. What? What did Dr. Kira What say? the frick was that? Well, he gave me a list of Murphy's parents. Do you want to read it? No. I'm good. You sure? Yeah. Now go in there and do your thing. Um. Aren't you going to come in here? Do I have to? Course. Now that's off right there. I don't think I did so deaf. Good evening, Mr. Dixon. I am Tom Peters, and this is the Captain Diane Murray. We're here to ask you a couple questions regarding the Murphy family. I don't think that. Oh, <laughs> before you guys begin, I'll have to step out of the room. Bronson takes something about the third floor. We'll check it out and let you know. Alright. <laughs> but that one scene that the unknown finger with red eyes. I don't think that didn't happen in the script, wasn't it? I don't know if I didn't fully read the whole entire script. Like, I didn't fully read it. Like, I only wanted to get to my lines. Because I don't want to see the spoils or whatnot. Oh. I don't really know anything about the Murphy family or who all those guys are. One thing I do know is that their only child, Dominic, was sent to the asylum. Interesting. How do you know anything about this? It was all of the news. Me and my wife locked the doors once we heard about his escape. And where is your wife? She's at home. I was just here to visit a friend and then I heard... I just heard these people screaming on the third floor. So I just ran all the way down and in the bathroom. Alright. Um. Did you hear any gunshots? No. I just heard people screaming. I suppose, uh, two of them. Okay. And did you see what the suspect looked like? No, not really. I was hiding as soon as I heard the screams. Ah, that voice actor is really good. We can't. 
signal isn't as strong inside the building. You're gonna have to get out or head to the roof. Alright. But do you know exactly what time all this happened? I don't actually know. The news ended and then I instantly heard those screams. So it happened as soon as the news ended? Yes. I'm sure you don't mind staying here for the night. We will find the suspect and let you guys go. We will provide you all with food and supplies while you wait. What? Then try and find the suspect. It's already 2 a.m. and our loved ones are going to be worried for us. Oh, we're trying our best. Ugh, this is useless. Hey, we're trying. We're late for to do all this. Wow, it's becoming 2 a.m. Plus, we need to figure out if any of you are mostly the murderers. Without lying or tricking us. What the heck? What the hell? <laughs> side of that room. Okay. The music. Ooh. What's wrong? We got our guy. Murphy. Yep. Watch yourself. He has a shotgun. Uh oh Calm yourself down. Shut up. I will not let you kill me. <laughs> Stop right there. the chase scene. Oh, it's perfect. me to run chase down a person who's driving a car much faster than me what's with the vine boom boom thing I don't get it but it works mission failed What do you mean you didn't catch him? I couldn't get to him. He was shooting at me and he drove off. God damn it! He was our last chance and you blew it! 
Hey, I tried, man. Where were you? Go home. What? No. You're very close into getting suspended, so I advise you to go home now. We'll take it here. <laughs> wow. Seriously? That's rude. Like, I'm the only one who's chasing that guy out while you and the others were staying inside the building, doing nothing. Something's off with him. So, what? No! Oh, me? <laughs> okay. That's the news then. What time is it anyway? Actually, no. The news ended, and then I instantly heard those screams. Before you go, just make sure to remember this guy can manipulate you. In case you're in with him, his self confidence is so believable that you can't even tell him. Oh no. Ooh. I think I got it. Oh! Okay. So you go for the eye t zoom to transit to the road. Very nice. I need to know everything about Don McMurphy. What do you need? I need his medical records and surveillance footage of the patient in his one week stay here. Oh, that same scene for the opening. But somehow he has a knife. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Okay, so. Donovan Murphy, born in 1963, has a condition that stays classified. Yeah. We can't say anything about his condition. But it triggers once I mention his family, right? Exactly. So he's left-handed. Yes, he always does this. Well, my brother's left-handed too. Okay. I'll head to the apartment in case I find anything good. I will have to borrow the records and the footage. Got it. Is the captain at the precinct? He's still at the apartment, Tom. He's clearing some things inside. Perfect. Ah, uh, back to the same building. Where it all started. 
Tom, why are you here? Getting inside the interrogation room. I think. Now, what's all this about? Sit down. What? Sit down. Do you want me to suspend you? You don't have the guts to do this, <laughs> Donamic. Ooh. What the? What is all this? I know what you did. What? You were responsible for the Square Town murder. I know, because I know you left your post at exactly 7 p.m. when you told me that you were going to get dinner. I saw the footage, and it even adds up. The news ended at 7.30 p.m. Every night, and once I checked the footage, I saw someone entering the building inside the second room of the first floor. signal inside the building. So once you got out, you impersonated someone and called the cops. And that is how you pulled this murder. You waited for the rain to stop and called me in there and tried to make me believe that someone was responsible for this. And once we left the apartment, there was no chaos happening inside until we came back. You also wanted to make me fail catching that one guy with the shotgun so you can send me home and solve this case without revealing the truth. <laughs> You think I killed them? You got them wrong. Yes. I even remember when I was about to begin interrogation, in which I was going to mention the Murphy family. You left the area as soon as I was going to look the list. Why did you leave right away? Did you recognize these names? And why did Dr. Kyron from the asylum say that you looked familiar to him? That's just a coincidence. A coincidence? Then why did a guy with a shotgun say that he doesn't want you to kill him? Shut up! I will not let you kill me. Did he even see you before inside the apartment? Or was that just a coincidence? Now I want you to stop. Oh, I'm just getting started. When Dr. Kyron talked about the history of the patient, I saw you acting weird. What was that? Trauma? Guilt? Or just a coincidence? Stop! You walked outside the door furious because he mentioned that Murphy went outside the asylum without anyone noticing. You said you took a briefer. Was that regret? Just a coincidence. Stop, okay, stop! Oh, let's go through this. The Murphy family. Richard, Dana, Diane, Ronald, Marlon, and Colin Murphy. Oh, -ho -ho. Wait, that didn't happen in script, did it? I don't remember. These are the ones you killed one night because ever since you stopped taking your medication because your family was broke. You started seeing people and hearing things beyond what we see. Oh, right, right, right. Now, now I remember. Lastly, your name, Diane Murray, sounds similar to the name Donna McMurphy. <laughs> you change your name with that coincidence. All right, enough. I killed them. I was brought to the asylum after, and I got out. A guard was gonna beat me up, and I killed him. Took his outfit and got out. I killed those two men, and they deserved it. They knew I wasn't a cop, and they were trying to expose me. So I had to do what I had to do. But yes, I got out of there without letting anybody know. Clever. 
But how do you become a cop after that? I made a fake identity with fake credentials and I impersonated someone just to get into the force. I wanted to be the captain so that people can just assume I didn't do anything because I made the go signal. Hmm, and you failed, sir. I'm always the one who kept on telling you what should have been done. And you just tagged along. Not something a real captain would do. Why was I the guy who requested for a lockdown and told you to go to the asylum? You just followed. Not something a captain would do. And once the murders happened, someone called our station and the first thing you did instead of bringing the squad, you told me to go alone. I know there's this a lot. Captain, so just give up. Okay. You got me. <laughs> so stay put, because I'm going to call the people from the asylum. Hmm. You could at least put the handcuffs first. But I like this one better. The music. 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 Shot. Take him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Finn. <laughs> wow. I, I really enjoy this. I really do. I really do. That was something I never thinking of what, but Emerald Productions. How do you manage to do this idea for all those detective police? The music, it fits together. I really enjoy it. It's amazing. I really enjoy it. Because all those things you added fit without putting things in randomly. You learn something in a good way before releasing it. You make everything right to put things together and make sure you have it to be like, huh, that music. And looking back to that scene while you're playing both of them at the same time, when you find the right music, you'll be like, that looks like it could fit in that scene. And it works. And parts of the whole entire movie where you don't have to focus on the dialogues for the characters to keep talking and talking and talking, you focus on them in silent mode for them to do things randomly to investigate. It makes things perfect. I really enjoy this. Everyone out there who's watching this, please support Emerald Productions! Emerald Productions did amazing to create these movies, and please head to Emerald Productions channel, and subscribe, and support, leave a like for it. I hope you enjoyed this folks, if you want more, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see more. This is Lord of Flames here, I'll see you guys next time. Bye folks, have a wonderful day.